All right, guys. So after your PlayStation has been updated, you already created your account online. You can go ahead and press this button on right here, your controller. So we're going to do that. And then you're going to see this. So right now we can sign in using the account that we just created. If you haven't created one, this would be the time to do so. But again, you already created one, so we don't need to click there. It's much easier to just create this on your phone or tablet or computer. But anyways, on the top, just put in your email and then your password down here below. All right, guys, I want to make a note that if you make a mistake on your password or anywhere, really, you can press square to delete and go back. And then once you're done, just press done. Going to sign in. And here we go. We're just gonna see, please wait. By the way, the fans that you guys hear in the background, that's just my computer, it's not my PlayStation. So your PlayStation, you shouldn't be able to hear any fans going right now, just in case. Anyways, we're gonna go right into next. And then from here, you just put in your first name and your last name. Once you're done putting your first name, last name, scroll down, you're gonna see receive emails, notifications. You can turn this off or on, it's up to you. We're just gonna leave it as is and then go right into next. All right, guys, so this part is really up to you. How much privacy do you want or not? Social and open, well, that's just showing everybody everything, well, almost everything about you online. And then team player, in the other hand, it's just limiting a little bit. Then from here, friend focused, just your friends, most of the stuff, solo and focused. Well, that will keep things a little bit more private, and of course, you can go to the last option, review your current settings. At this point, we're just gonna keep things open. So we're gonna select that one. Then from here, just click on apply, confirm and continue on. You just have to please wait. So this part is if you don't want anybody else to use your PlayStation, you could put a login passcode. Passcode is just four digits, very easy. So you can log in really quick. However, if you just want to play, your, it's just you that's going to play your PlayStation or you don't mind others using your PlayStation, I wouldn't put a passcode. So we're going to skip that. And right here, you guys can also see this. Require password at checkout. This, on the other hand, I would suggest turning on just in case. So if somebody uses your PlayStation and they make a purchase by mistake, they won't be able to because they need a password. So again... It's really up to you. If you're just going to use this, then you don't need to worry about that stuff. Just going to OK. Then we're going to see please wait again. And this part's actually pretty important. So you can go by text message or the app. If you guys want to make this easy, just go for text messages. But you could do this within an app and it can be on your iPad, for example, or any tablet that you guys have, any phone. So that's if maybe you don't have a phone number or you don't want to give a phone number. You can just go into this app and go ahead and do that. So just to keep things simple, we're just going to go into the app. All right, guys, so there's an app that's called this right here, Authenticator. So you guys can use that. I'm going to tap on it. So once you open up the app, you're going to see this. Just click on Add Account. Then you can go on Add Account. It tells you personal account, work, whatever. Just go into personal account. Once you do that, you can go into Scan QR Code, press OK, and we're going to scan that QR code. So right now, here is the code that it's giving me. And I just have to put that in right there. Now, the bad thing and the only bad thing about these apps is that you have to put in the code really fast. And it's going to keep giving you codes and codes until you can actually catch up with one. So hopefully with the next code, you guys can do it. So right now, you do have to take a picture of this. And then just press, I recorded these backup codes for future use. Press done. And then right here, you do have to add your mobile number. So... You can choose any country, so depending on what country you guys are from, then put in your phone number, or you can actually skip this and do this later. So again, we did the app because we didn't really want to use our phone number right now. We are in fact going to skip this because we're going to assume you guys don't have a phone number or just want to add it later on. So we can do this later. I'm going to say, please wait, family and PlayStation. Okay, then we can go on into the next thing. All right, you can download all these apps right now. If you're not interested, don't do it. So I'm going to uncheck all of them because I actually don't want any of these, but just leave a check mark on the ones that you do want in your PlayStation. They are going to take some space up, but not that much. So you can press on download if you wanted to download anything, or you can do this later, just like me, and then just keep going with the setup. Now, those apps are very common, and that's why you get those at the start. 
so your PlayStation is just going to download right away. If uh, you press skip for now, like me, you can download them later on. It's not a problem. So right now it's going to ask me, what am I? Yeah, that's me. Take on this sign and I can go ahead and update. Never, never press update later. Always update right away. So that's your option on the right hand side. Then it's just going to update your controller. So right now it's actually updating. Now your controller light should be blue like so while it updates. And it's going to be fairly fast because updates for your controller are actually pretty, pretty small. They don't take up too much space and it's almost done. Never unplug, by the way. So my PlayStation controller, I always had it hooked up to my PlayStation the whole time. Do not unhook it. But technically right now, we are in fact all done with the setup. You can go to your PlayStation store, buy all the games that you want. You can go to the last option up here, PlayStation Plus, which gives you a bunch of subscriptions that you can do. Well, there's three. There's premium, extra, and essentials. Depends what you guys like. If you guys want to play a bunch of games monthly, then this is pretty good. What I do is go into essentials just because some games require you to have PS Plus to play online, such as GTA. But you don't need PlayStation Plus, by the way. However, in PlayStation Store, you will want to go there to get started looking for some games and downloading everything that you could ever want. So here's a bunch of games that you could download. There's free games such as Fortnite and a bunch of others. But as far as this video goes, we are all done with the setup. Congratulations. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Thank you.